Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. I make videos on health and wellness. So if you are into that, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Today's video is one of my favorite fall inspired recipes. It is a gluten and a dairy free pumpkin spice granola. It is so delicious, so easy to make, and it's just perfect for a cozy morning or a snack. And before we get started in the recipe, if you are a regular here, you may notice, or maybe not, something different, but I am 21 weeks pregnant, so if you see a little a bump, then that's what you are seeing. Also, since posting my last video, I got married, so lots of things happen, but um, yeah, now that we have all the updates out of the way, let's get back to the recipe. For this recipe, you'll need two cups of gluten-free oats, one cup of almonds, one cup of pecans, half a cup of pumpkin seeds, quarter cup of coconut oil, quarter cup of honey, one a tablespoon of a vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of a pumpkin spice. To begin, preheat your oven to 300 Fahrenheit and align a baking sheet with a parchment of paper. We're going to start by mixing all of our dry ingredients. Start by roughly chopping your almonds and your pecans, and then in a large mixing bowl, add a two cups of a gluten-free oats, one cup of the chopped almonds, and then one cup of the chopped pecans. Then we'll go ahead and sprinkle the one a tablespoon of a pumpkin spice seasoning in there as well. We'll give everything a, a good stir until it's all evenly combined, making sure that the pumpkin spice seasoning is all over the oats and the nuts. At this point, I realized I forgot the pumpkin seeds, so I just added a dat in. Now, if you don't have pumpkin spice seasoning on hand or you can't find it, I'll also leave the ingredients you need to create this seasoning in the description box below. Next, we'll prep our wet ingredients. Place a pot on medium heat and add the quarter cup of a coconut oil. Let that melt. And then once it's melted, add the quarter cup of a honey. You also can use maple syrup if you want to keep it plant-based or that's just what you have on hand or you prefer it. And whisk them together until they're nice and smooth. And then once that's smooth, you can add in the one tablespoon of vanilla extract as well. And now we're going to combine everything together. Pour the wet ingredients over the dry ingredients in your mixing bowl and stir it all together, making sure that everything is evenly coated because that will help getting the uh, perfect uh, crunchy texture. Once it's well mixed, spread the granola out onto the uh, line uh, baking sheet in an even uh, thin uh, layer. And then we'll go ahead and uh, place the baking uh, sheet in the preheated oven and uh, bake for about 25 to uh, 30 minutes. For me, it's usually around 30 minutes. After baking, let the granola cool completely before you break it into pieces. This is very crucial to get those really crunchy bits. So once it's cooled, then you can start breaking up the granola and enjoy it. Uh, you can store it in an airtight container for about a week. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this gluten and dairy free pumpkin spice granola recipe. The ingredients for this recipe will be down in the description box. So be sure to check that out. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future healthy recipes. Thank you again. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.